Brian got here, NWA Houston gave the spit duper on. Congratulations on becoming the new Lone Star Junior Heavyweight Champion. Thanks a lot, Sign Guy. I really appreciate it. You know, it's been a long time coming for me. And uh, I'd just like to take this time right now and just use this as a uh, forum to set a couple things straight for everybody that's watching this out there, okay? Now, about probably two years ago this very week that I stood outside a wrestling training facility in Orlando, Florida with all kinds of butterflies in my stomach, not knowing where the journey from the threshold which I would enter would take me later on. We fast forward two years later, and I stand before all of you, the NWA Lone Star Junior Heavyweight Champion. And the golden question that I've been asked tonight is, how does it feel to be the champ? And so, so on and forth, so forth. And to be perfectly honest with everybody, you know, I found myself standing in that ring. I heard the bell ring. And then the referee hands me this championship right here, raises my hand. And I took a long, hard look at it. And for a second, there was probably one second of uncertainty and just, un just unbelievable feeling, obviously. The next second was probably happiness and joy, followed by a wall of a reality check. Because you see, not only did I become the man here in Texas among the junior heavyweights, but I've also painted a target in the back of my head for everybody that wants to crack at this. And I fully understand that. And you know, everybody's gonna get their just due, which is why I went out and decided to take matters in my own hands during Kevin Doug Douglas's match. See, this doesn't change anything. It's gonna be business as usual, as it always has been, okay? Collecting W's like I have been for the past nine months. My shoulders have not touched the mat yet since I've been here in Texas, you know? And I can stand here and tell everybody how great of a champion I'm gonna be, that I'm gonna do this and cut every through everybody like a knife through, but it's, I could say that, you're probably gonna hear that on all of these. The bottom line is, there's somebody out there that's better than me. And I know that, and I'm a realist, and I don't need a title defense to realize that it's one thing to win this championship, it's another thing to keep it. And that's why I went out in Kevin Douglas' match and put everybody, including him, on notice, because this doesn't change a thing. I'm going to keep doing everything that I've been doing since I've been here, and I'm going to be more hungry than I ever have before. I'm going to ball with thirst. And that's how it's going to be. See, there's a lot of championships that change place here tonight. So there's going to be a lot of guys that are going to be cracking open that champagne and kicking back that beer. As soon as I pull out of here, I'm headed straight for the gym, doubling the workload, doing whatever I can, being the best that I can, day in, day out, better than I was the day before, the day after that, the day after that, and so forth. Okay? I represent this right here. Now, I am a representative of NWA Lone Star and represent I'm gonna do so everybody I'm not discriminating you can be a fan favorite you could be a good guy a bad guy it doesn't matter you can cheer me you can boo me the end result has always been the same you can take it to Vegas if you want I will always be the guy that comes out on top. I proved it for the last nine months, and I put the explanation point on it right here tonight.